Welcome back to the Pack Chat, our student voice opinion segment. I'm your host, Jack Polishuk, joined by co-hosts Caleb Taylor, Tommy Sancoli, and guest Pearl Bailey as we discuss this week's most trending topics. Let's get started. First, the Dalai Lama, or the spiritual leader of the Gay Luke School of Tibetan Buddhism, is apologizing after a video of him asking a young boy to suck his tongue went viral. The Dalai Lama later apologized on Twitter, saying, quote, His Holiness often teases people he meets in an innocent and playful way even in public and before cameras. He regrets the incident, end quote. So do you guys think this was innocent, playful banter, or did you guys find this appropriate? I did not find this innocent I or playful. <laughs> it was <laughs> gross to watch, yeah. like yeah. seriously disturbing. I was like, because I don't even understand what the reason was for doing that, but then I thought maybe it was like, oh, it was part of their like traditions or stuff, you know? Mm. But then I was also <laughs> like, but uh, <laughs> why would someone do that? That's what I didn't really understand. So I looked this up, right? There is a greeting in Tibet where two people stick their tongues out, mm -hmm. but there is no like sucking, like whatsoever, uh, like yeah. that's not part <laughs> of the equation. Like what I heard is that he said he didn't expect like the little boy to suck his tongue. He was just like, oh, I was doing that as a he joke. Actually, like, didn't? Yeah. yeah, he actually did it in the video. It shows him physically going in and actually putting his mouth around the tongue. Oh and my God. <laughs> yeah, I don't, it, it wasn't my thing. I mean, I don't Yeah. Yeah. Like a little boy's tongue. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the, exactly. the, the Dalai Lama is like 87, I think. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there may be some, you know, deterioration <laughs> going on. I don't know. I don't want to make any claims. Well, but also yeah. just like, you know, like who knows like what these people are up, like these spiritual leaders are up to. Like it's the whole thing with like the Vatican and like yeah. the, all that stuff. Like who knows what could be happening. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, I seriously know. feel bad for like the little boy. Like I hope Me he's too. okay. Me yeah. too. Like that could be seriously like traumatic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Next, the 15th mass shooting of the month of April took place on the 10th at a bank in Louisville, Kentucky. Five people were killed and four were injured, with the shooter being an employee of the bank and live streaming the attack. Worried about one of their fellow officers. Will reach out for help when they need it. I hope. Every one of those bank employees and folks in that building, one that I know well. And my AG campaign was out of that building. I know virtually everyone in it. That's my bank. I hope that they will all reach out and get the help that they need. There are a lot of people that are hurting today. And if we have a place to focus our energy, I hope it is to surround them with the love and the compassion. According to the Gun Violence Archive, there's been 147 mass shootings in 2023, with over 500 killed and over 1,000 injured. Firearm, firearms have become the leading cause of death for children and teens in the U.S., and there are more guns in the, than people in the country, with 44% of households containing a firearm. What do you guys think are the main contributors to these statistics? Why are we seeing this so much now? Definitely, it's, it's to do with like the amendment, you know, it's like the freedom of guns or whatever. But I also think it's mainly because Texas is allowing us to like kind of have more guns and like more freedom with that, which is kind of a problem because then crazy things like this can happen. But it's not just Texas, it's America as a whole. Like I know, mm -hmm. but like specifically, it's also kind of been to Texas as well. I mean, mainly because we're like, in Texas. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, you know, like there have been a lot of things. Thankfully, like we haven't seen anything like that, but it's still like insane how there's been 147 shootings like this year. Yeah. Which yeah, is really bad. 47 days. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is really, really insane. It's just like, I don't know how to even solve this problem, to be honest. Like what? Yeah. What Maybe like restrictions against guns. Like why would you let people or maybe like yeah more security or um people just having like a specific license that says you're not allowed to like use guns 24 7 or something like that i mean um, there's th like there's no way to like make guns harder to get because people are just still going to get them illegally yeah. like th there's no way to fix that I and think. There, yeah. there's all sorts of bills and stuff that people are trying to pass but you know it's all it it, it when it becomes a political issue that's when action stops, you yeah. know, because people start disagreeing and sides, you know, people butt heads. I think and that's it, 
sorry. No, you're no, good. I think that's the problem that's becoming such a political issue when it's more a safety issue and should be addressed as such. And I think exactly. going off what you said, yeah, there's already gun laws in place and some of them aren't working very well, but there should be like a more like, uh, how do I put this? Like state to state one, like having to register in every state and things like that that could have been led to more safety. And if not safety, then identifying people or, you know, new charges to press against people who have killed people in mass shootings. Mm -hmm. For sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I saw with this one specifically, the owner or like the person who did commit this crime, he bought the gun legally. Mm -hmm. And it was, a, it was an AK, like it was an assault rifle. Oh. So... <laughs> like, that goes to show you. Like, it's like, yeah. why, why would you ever need to legally buy it? That's the problem. Like, why is that, yeah. 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 Why yeah. Is that even possible? I don't know. Next, a federal judge in Texas has voted to overrule the FDA's approval of a pill commonly used for abortions. Access to the pill nationwide is now in limbo. The FDA approved the pill more than 20 years ago, which is also used in drugs and has also been treated in cases of miscarriage. Critics are claiming there hasn't been enough research on the medication and it isn't safe. However, more data from around the world shows otherwise. So do you guys think that the judges should be getting involved in this type of approval or no? I don't think so. I mean, if they're really worried about like the safety of drugs, then they're not really arguing about safety of other drugs. They're kind of just cracking down on, you know, ones related to abortions and such. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like, it's the same issue with the gun control thing. Like, when it when it becomes a political issue, you know, yeah, that's when it becomes like a form. big controversy, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like, I've, American <laughs> politics has just been like, if it ain't broke, we're going to try to fix it anyway. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, obviously the science has shown that this pill has done nothing. Like, the harmful effects that these politicians are claiming are not true at all. They, they go from the stance of, well, I'm against it because it goes against my religion, mm -hmm. to now, oh no, like it, it, this pill is bad for you, like it, it, it can negatively affect you, which is just made up, like it's not mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really understand that, that whole thing. I get it how it's like, you know, kind of bad to like people's religions and stuff. But then again, like, you know, I kind of also understand what if there's like cases where people are like genuinely suffering and they just can't afford to like, you know, have yeah. babies or something and like, like that. Sorry, and like separation of state and church and all that too, going yeah, on that, exactly. that yeah. religion being brought in. Even, even if it's against the, the politicians and lawmakers' religions, that shouldn't be pushed onto the American people as a whole. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It's like not because of their personal opinion. It should be because of like the actual, you know, statistics. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it is based on personal opinion, yeah. sadly. Yeah. Which is sad. It's genuinely sad. Same yeah. with the gun violence thing. But yeah. And finally, Swifties across TikTok are melting down after news broke that Taylor Swift and longtime boyfriend Joe Alwyn are calling it quits after six years together. This comes after Swift recently launched her sold out and anticipated Eras tour. Some have criticized the media's coverage of her personal lives, while others say her own person, personal welcomes it. So do we care? Is it any of our business? I don't care. I don't <laughs> care. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to be honest though. I think it's sad because she's created so many good songs that were based off of this relationship. Like Cruel Summer, Lover, there's been like so many great songs with that. But I honestly don't think that this deserves so much hype that like everyone's freaking out. I think it's mainly just because her Eros tour is going on and like there's like, and her new album came out and like people are really into it. Like I was at my friend's house when I found out the news. I don't really care, but her mom ran in. She's like, Taylor and Joe broke up. She's like heartbroken. <laughs> and so like, I think to some people it's more just a fun, like being into like this fandom, like cult pop culture than it is like actually heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah, which, which is what I don't get. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't really know a lot about Joe Alwyn until I like this breakup. I knew he was an actor, but I didn't know like many of his movies. That's, yeah. that's personally my thing. Yeah. I think, I think <laughs> this whole like code of personality that like goes, uh, just like these celebrities and people like are so involved in their personal lives. It's really weird. It's it is, weird and it's really invasive. It's really yeah. awkward. Like, I mean, I, I understand how like it would affect her music if she's going through something, but at the same time, like, who cares? You know, <laughs> like, that that's her personal life. People yeah. don't need to yeah. be, like, hounding her for mm -hmm. it and, like, yeah, freaking I out. Like, where were you when <laughs> Taylor Swift <laughs> broke up? broke up, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, same. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for you this morning. Remember, T-Wolf Pack, there is always time to chat. Pet of the Week is up next, so stay tuned.